Hi students and welcome to this tutorial video, this one over recording and uploading audio using Vocaroo.com, which is the website I want all of you to use when submitting your uh, recorded, uh, recorded essays uh, for the new assignment. Uh, remember, after every timed essay assignment, this will be your homework. You'll need to go home, first type up your essay according to MLA formatting guidelines, save it as a Word document or another uh, type of document that I can open up with my uh, Windows machine here, uh, and then submit it to the appropriate uh, to the appropriate assignment. Here you can see where I've created a set of uh, a new topic here over timed essays and here are the assignments down here. You'd submit your timed essay here and then your recording link here. More on that here in just a minute. Okay. Up here at the top I've got a couple of new bits of information. This is the handout you received in class and I wanted to go over for just a second the recording guidelines and kind of emphasize these things. Uh, first of all, make sure you test your audio before you record so that it's clear and appropriate at an appropriate volume. Uh, it's critical that you do some you know, just a couple of seconds of test recording first just to make sure your levels are correct. Uh, make sure that you begin your recording of your essay by stating which essay assignment you're reading. There's no need for, me to, for you to give me the, your, your name, your class period, the date, or anything like that. This isn't like a legal deposition. Um, I just need you to just tell me at the very front, this is the Q2 rhetorical analysis essay number one. Or you can tell me this is the Q2 essay over Florence Kelly's speech. That's fine too. Make sure when you're reading that you read naturally. This is not an opportunity for you to do uh, some uh, some theater dramatic interpretation of your essay. You're not reading poetry here. You're reading an academic paper. Read this as though you are still enthusiastic for what you're writing, still proud of what you're writing, but read this as though you're, you're lecturing to a group of academics. Make sure you do not read in a dull, lifeless monotone, uh, which tends to make your language become less like language and more like a series of un unmeaningful uh, syllables. Finally, treat this recording seriously. Uh, don't get cute with this assignment. It should just be a very simple process on a relatively uh, easy homework night for you guys. Um, <clears throat> please just record it and be done. Don't try to do any sort of special editing. Don't send me any extra messages or else you will lose points on the actual essay grade. All of this is part of your actual essay grade, so there's no need to get cute or clever here. So you'll see up here, next, I've got an actual link to the Vocaroo website, which is the website all of you are going to be using to either record your audio or upload audio that you've already recorded from another piece of software. I'll cover that in a later video. So if you click on the link, see it opens up in a pop-up window, which is what I typically like to do with my links. And you'll see here, this is Vocaroo. This is the whole website. There's really not much to it, which is great. It's a super simple, free way to record uh, record MP3s that are then stored on their website, so I don't have to bother with downloading anything. When you get to the website, you see that you have two options. Either click to record, which means you can start recording new audio straight to their website, or if you have uh, an MP3 file or any other one of their accepted uh, audio file formats, you can upload that file to their website that way. So uh, let's just go ahead and do a trial run here, like most of you will probably do. If you have uh, a headset or a microphone that will hook up to your computer, you can just go straight to this website and click record. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a sample essay. Here we go. And pull up Vocaroo here. Just kind of resize it so that it's out of the way while I read my sample. There we go. And that's all we really need to do. Now, the first time that you uh, you use Vocaroo, it may prompt you uh, to uh, for, to allow permission for your computer to use that. Always just click allow. This is a it's a perfectly safe program. So if I click on record here, ah, just like this, this is what I was talking about. Adobe Flash Player settings. Just click allow. This runs through Adobe Flash and it's perfectly safe. All right, it's already recording. It's actually recording what I'm saying right now. It doesn't give you a three, two, one. Um, so I just start reading my essay. Uh, this is the uh, Slavery in America essay, which is something I signed last year. To modern thinkers, slavery is viewed as an immoral, disgusting practice. But during the 19th century, this viewpoint was not shared by all, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I read my whole essay. Once I'm done, just click stop, and then you want to preview what you just listen or what you just recorded.
that. It's already recording. It's actually recording yeah, what I'm saying right good. now. I don't need to listen to the rest of it there. To modern thinkers, fine. slavery is viewed from there, as an immoral, disgusting. What we need to do is this not little link right here. Cetera, happy with this recording. Repeat. If you listen to it and it sounds good, then click click here to save. And it generates a short Vokaru URL. And that is actually, whoops, don't want to do that. That is actually how you turn in this assignment. You're going to submit this link in the Learning Hub. So I'm just going to copy this link here. Go on out to the Learning Hub. Submit it to the audio recording portion. And you'll see that this is set up as an, in, uh, an online submission. There's nothing to upload for this assignment. Just click on Add Submission like you usually do. Excellent. And all you need to do is paste that, uh, that URL in there. If you really want to be kind to me, you can paste this as a link. Otherwise, I can copy and paste that pretty easily. Uh, just select the whole thing, hit Link, and then paste the URL there. Again, you don't have to do that, but if you really want to do me a favor, that'll go quicker. Once you're done pasting the link in there, just hit Save Changes. And it is, it's submitted. It, now, it's always a good idea to double check that what you submitted uh, works, so simply copy and paste the link you submitted uh, into your browser, or if you created an actual link, just click on it. All right, it's already recording. It's actually recording right. what I'm and saying if right you now. Can hear it, it doesn't give I can hear it. I can hear exactly what you can hear there. Um, so that tested out perfectly. All right, one more quick thing I wanted to say about Vokaroo. Once you're done recording and you've shared the link with me, please do not, do not, do not ever accidentally hit this delete now button. What that does is it deletes the link that you just sent to me. So when I click on it or copy and paste it, I won't get anything anymore. So the best way to just finish your Vokaroo session is just to close the window. You're done. It stores your audio for several months. All right, so that is how to record directly onto Vokaroo, which is, I, I believe, the easiest way to complete this, uh, this assignment. If, however, you have a specific, uh, specific uh, program for recording that you prefer to use, um, such as any number of, of audio recording soft, uh, software programs that are out there, uh, you can also simply upload your file to Vokaroo rather than record it outright. So let me go back to Vokaroo here. And rather than click to record, I'm just going to hit All right, upload. It's already recording. It's actually recording what I'm saying right now. Side. Click to upload. All right, and I just go find whatever file it is I saved. Please take a look at the audio formats they support before you upload anything. Yeah, they take the most of the big compressed file formats, ooh, even uncompressed stuffs too. So, uh, but it looks like ooh, they do not take MP4s. So if you're a, a Mac user, uh, you need to keep that in mind. You better convert the, convert this to uh, a proper proper for or a format they will accept. So you click to upload. Once it uploads. It uh, will give you the exact same option to click on save, and then you can share that link with me. All right. So that is using Vokaroo to record your self-reading essays to submit to the assignment. Um, again, this video really only helps those students who actually have a mic that they can uh, plug into their computer or a headset. If you don't have a mic or a headset that you can plug into your PC, fear not, because you can actually use your smartphone to do what I just showed you how to do here. And that's going to be in the next two videos. So please take a look at those if you plan on recording via your smartphone. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you in class.